Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to another Friday Favorites and Flops. This is the last Friday Favorites and Flops before like everything happens next week. We've got Thanksgiving, we've got the official start of the holiday season. <laughs> so um, I am so ready, you guys. I love this time of year. I just kind of thrive, I feel like, at this point in the year. And I'm just very excited for everything that's coming up. Um, I do have things to share with you guys today. Um, first thing I'm gonna just do really quickly is an update on my microblading, not microblading, micro shading. So um, this is done with a machine. If you missed my video about the initial experience with the micro shading and how it compared to microblading, I will link that video down below because I did that last week when I uploaded my thoughts. On the process so this is now just about just shy of two weeks old and I am mostly done um, with the flaking and shedding of the crusty skin which is kind of a gross part of the process I did share um, a picture of what that looked like on Instagram and it honestly was so much less painful this go around in terms of being a hassle and being like kind of gross um, it just wasn't as dramatic as the microblading and I think that had to do with the fact that I was still able to wash my brows um, I only washed them once a day and it was at night at the end of the day just in case there was like some makeup that somehow got into the brows um, and I was using the little concoction that she gave me to moisturize my brows twice a day but I love them you guys um, they're obviously a lot less taupe now they did definitely tone down to a more it's still taupe but it's more of a gray taupe I do think I'm still gonna have her add a little bit more gray when I go in for the touch-up so um, one thing that I did notice is that this tail did not take quite as well as this one did here on the end so I'll have to have her kind of fix that up um, but I love them I love waking up in the morning I I look in the mirror and I think I love these brows <laughs> even without makeup they still look totally good um, I thought I would look overdone um, I don't think it does at all I can totally go without makeup and I just look like I have some solid brows that are perfectly suited for my face um, I just love them <laughs> I, again I really hope that they keep um, I do plan on doing a six month touch up after this you know six week touch up that I'm doing in December um, and then from there hopefully I'll just have to do it once a year and it's gonna be perfect I will happily pay the touch up fee it's really not that expensive um, and to have this every single day and not do a thing to my brows is freaking amazing you guys I'm I'm in love I love them so much <laughs> so I'm happy um, let's dive into <sighs> Let's do hair care, body care. A lot of this stuff is from Shea Moisture. Um, in the most recent Ulta haul that I did, I shared quite a few things that I purchased at Ulta from Shea Moisture, so that's where I got all this stuff. I will link everything down below for you. Shea Moisture quite frequently at Ulta is buy one, get one half off, which is a great time to purchase from them. And then if you have either a 20% off or you know one of those like $3.50 or $5 off coupons, you can apply that to this because it's on the drugstore side. This is their Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is actually not a favorite for me, it's a favorite from Stella because I'm using these on her. This makes my daughter's hair so soft and it smells so good, you guys. I honestly can't tell you how beautiful the scent of this is. It is, it's kind of a perfumey floral but a very beautiful perfumey floral and it's not overwhelming but when I smell Stella's head after washing her hair with this I just it's just so beautiful and like warm and I it just makes me want to smell her because it smells so good you guys I have not used these on my hair um I'm sure they would work fine they definitely make Stella's hair really soft very easy to brush through when we are done in the shower, washing her up. Um, there's there's nothing bad that I can say about this. It doesn't weigh her hair down and 
she loves the smell of it and every time I wash her hair she's just like I can tell that she's just breathing it in and she just she loves it she's such a girly girl just like her mom so um, she loves having her own shampoo and conditioner um, the only thing about the shampoo that I will say is that it comes out really quickly um, this opening is very large and it comes pouring out so there are times where I've gotten like way more shampoo that I than I've needed um, so I'll just wash Stella's body with the rest <laughs> makes a great body wash too um, again non-drying just hydrating makes the hair easy to comb through really nice um, two more things so I used the 100% virgin coconut oil in shower body conditioner to shave my legs this week I only during the winter well, and also most of the year, I only shave my legs like a couple times a month. I know some of you are probably like, oh, um, but I just don't care. I, I don't really wear shorts a whole lot. I don't wear dresses a whole lot. And um, Craig doesn't really care. So, and I don't have a ton of time in the morning. Like usually I, I have like 10 minutes to take a shower. And sometimes just standing there is so much more relaxing than shaving my legs. So I'd rather do that. Um, anyway, this is wonderful for shaving my legs. So it's like a really thick lotion. Um, you can see here how thick it is. Uh, it smells really good. It has like a coconut sandalwood type scent to it. So it's not a fruity coconut scent. It is more of a like musky sandalwood coconut scent. It's really beautiful. But man, does this make my legs soft and just amazing feeling. I highly recommend this if you're looking for a new shave cream type product. It's an in-shower body conditioner, so you can just rub it all over your body and then wash it off and it's like a hydrator. But I find that I love stuff like that for shaving my legs. And then second, we have all been using this and it's super concentrated. So we haven't really used a lot. I would say I put this in the shower probably either on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, and all three of us have been using it every day. So, uh, this is their daily hydration body wash from the 100% virgin coconut oil line as well. Um, this is amazing. Same scent as that. Um, super hydrating, just beautiful, very concentrated. Um, it is pretty easy to control how much you get out by just not opening the, uh, the little thing as far so I kind of open it to the halfway point and then just squirt out a little bit and like a little squirt does my entire body which is really nice so if you haven't tried this this is actually my second bottle of it it is it is good um I like this a lot so there you go makeup let's breeze through this um for lips this week I've been doing these things right here <laughs> these things being what I have on my lips right now is just the Laura Geller Nude Kisses Lip Puppy. Lick, jeez Louise, Lip Hugging Lip Gloss. Say that 10 times fast in peach, please. So that is all that I have on my lips right now. But this week I've kind of been mixing it up with the uh, Beach Bum. By the way, these two come in a set at Ulta for $13. It is the best like little gift that you can get for a girlfriend. It's so cheap. And these are both full size glosses from Laura Geller. They have a, like a bakery vanilla type scent, like a, actually more like a vanilla cake batter type scent. Um, they're, they're wonderful. I love these glosses and, um, yeah, 13 bucks for the duo. So both, I think they're normally like 21 bucks each. That's an amazing deal. And then the lipstick, um, I know this is not cruelty free anymore, but NARS, I bought these back when they were cruelty free. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Raquel. This is a really pretty peach. Um, I still absolutely adore the consistency of um, these lipsticks. Uh, it really bums me out that NARS decided to start selling in China, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Hopefully they'll pull out <laughs> at some point and I can, go back to repurchasing these uh, when I need to in the future. But I mean, there's obviously lots of other great lipstick brands out there, but this is what I have been wearing quite a bit this week. And I do love that color. So kind of a bummer, but yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Um, all right, cheeks, mood exposure from Hourglass. This one right here, that is what I've been sporting all week. I love this. I've talked about it a million times. There's no point in me talking about it more. Um, I did do my review of the Viseart um, 
setting powder. I love this stuff, you guys. It's really, really nice. It's just as amazing as all the other setting powders that I have. Um, what if you actually suggested doing a comparison video of all the setting powders that I've tried and just kind of maybe like rank them or talk about the benefits and that kind of stuff. So I think I might do that for next month at some point. So I'm going to write that down on my to-do list. But this one is wonderful, you guys. It's nice because it does have the netting. Um, so packaging wise, I think this one's really great. Uh, and just formula wise, it's wonderful. Diffuses the looks of my, the look of my pores. <laughs> my words. I have a lot of stuff going in my head, honestly, right now, because I have several, um, like large holiday orders that are looming over my head and my clients are not getting me final numbers. So I'm just like, I have to get into the market to like pre-order your stuff. Tell me how many arrangements you want. <laughs> That's like the only frustrating thing is I feel like I can't be as like mm, with my just like rest of you non-wedding clients, I guess I should say as I am with my wedding clients. With them, I'm like, hard deadline. You let me know a month before, um, or I'm just gonna go with what's on your original, you know, invoice, and then if you need to add more, hopefully I can find more. But yeah, with with holiday stuff, I'm just always a little bit more lenient, and it always bites me in the butt every single year. So I just, I need to get, sorry, that's a side note. But yeah, that's what it's like in the back of my head right now. Like how many arrangements do they actually need? How many bunches of roses do I need to order like that? That's that's what's going on back there. But this is wonderful, you guys. Just to go back to this, if you missed my review, I'll link it down below. I won't spend too much more time on it. Also did a mascara Monday on this guy. This is the Kevin Aquan, the expert mascara. This is great. Um, this is a really nice mascara. I've been using it all week. I've been actually using it for a couple weeks. This was an Octoly find for me and I just really, really enjoy it. Um, it is a great product and um, yeah, it's, if you've been wanting to try it because you like volumizing mascaras, it is good. I think, I think it's worth a splurge. I think it's 29 bucks. Yeah, that sounds right. So it's kind of a spendy mascara, but it's a great one. And if you don't mind splurging, here you go. This is this that I just wanted to try. <laughs> Eyes have been pretty neutral because I've only started wearing eye makeup again on, I think it was on Wednesday. So um, I've just been doing these two. Uh, these are the Marc Jacobs Gel Omega, okay. Um, Omega Shadow Gel Powder Eyeshadows. There we go. Um, I've been putting, let me just get this right. Yes, okay. I've been putting the big O on my lid and just a little bit of Daddy O <laughs> in the crease. Um, that's what I have on today. I just, I wanted to give these guys some love because you guys know that I've been giving my Viseart shadows love for quite a few weeks now. And I really wish I could figure out a way to depot these. Um, cause I'd love to have these in a palette as well, but I just, I don't want to risk breaking them. So, uh, but it would be nice to have them in a palette for sure. Great formula on these. I did do a worth a splurge on them. I do think they are 100% worth a splurge. If there's a color that you really like, get it. You are not going to be sad in the formulation of these. They are wonderful. And I think I have five, I think I have five and they're worth every single penny. I bought them back in October, I believe love them love them so much so yeah that's it all right i am going to um i'm going to stop recording now and i'm going to go and contact my clients and just get all this stuff out of my brain and tell them that i need some numbers so thank you so much for taking the time to watch i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and um, i do have a couple of videos coming up um this weekend so if you're interested in home fragrance stuff that's what's going to be there. Um, if not, I will see you again on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.